Good evening, welcome. Whiskey tasting tonight. Someone messaged me the other day, I think they left a message via YouTuber and one of the subscribers. I want to see some more whiskey tasting. Two more on the shelf that I want to do. I'll probably do them in one evening. I'll probably do them tonight, both in one go. We've got the Sander Vulin. Uh, Space Side Single Malt double, uh, Scotch Whiskey Double Cask. Glen Fiddick, 15 year old. Glen Fiddick Single Malt Scotch Whiskey from the Valley of the Deer. Now, the other whiskeys I've been doing one at a time, but I fancy. I've had a quiet week, so I fancy one. I'll, I'll probably do one of these each tonight. Drop of still water in the glass and we'll have a little go, shall we? Right, let's try Tanner Vulin first. Out of the bottle. There we go. Let's crack open the lid. Tiny drop tonight, tiny drop of each, I think. Try a couple of different whiskies, and when you go out to your friends, you sound clever when you're in a pub. I went to the pub the other week, and um, when the little nightcap at night, the young lady read out a few whiskies for a nightcap, and I actually recognised a few of them, and I sounded like, like I knew what I was talking about. Oh, that smells. Hmm. That smells quite nice. Mm. Right. Let's pour a drop in the glass. We'll have a little look, shall we? What it's like. So that's the whiskey poured out. It's looking nice and clear. It's having a brood in there. Mm. It's trying to drop a water on top of that, I think. Whiskies are half strong. You couldn't drink too many of them. God. That's not a bad drop of whiskey. I'm not sure what to say. There's not, there's no peaty. This is on the bottom. Double cast mature for us, classic space. I'll tell you, rich, smooth, and mellow. Ah, oh, the town of Vulin was opened in 1966. On the banks of the river Livet, deep in the heart of the space, of the most of whiskey. Right. Well, I'm reading here. On the label, whiskey has hints of sweet toffee, honey, and marzy pear on the nose with refreshing pineapple pear and subtle citrus notes on the palate. Right, okay, yeah. I'm not sure if I was getting that to be honest. 
That's not not bad, not bad. Hmm. Okay. I still actually I've still got the chingling. I'm not sure I should do another whiskey straight after. But I've still got the tingle that round me. Round my mouth, round my throat, just going round the soothing flavours going round. It's it's changing all the time actually. Mm. Now what I should do is just give this a little rinse. That's the Tamu Vulin, uh a little dram of Tamu Vulin. That's quite enormous, that's quite um I'm still getting flavours going around now to be honest with you. It's quite relaxing, that's relaxed me. I had one little one little shot. That's weird. That is weird. Right, okay, going for the this is one I've been waiting for the damn bit fifteen. I don't know why. Look at that quality bottle, the deer, let it go. That's quality. 15 year old, warm and spicy. The other one I'm looking at getting is the Bowmore. I think the Bowmore will be next. I had the pub on Monday, it was nice. Warm and spicy, single malt is matured for 15 years in bourbon, new oak, and sherry casks before harmonising. Right. Let's try this one, shall we? Let me find a way to and do it. People sell these bottles, empty bottles on eBay of different whiskies. Oops, here we go. Hmm, that's different. Hmm, doesn't smell so much as the other one. You can see that sticking to the glass there. Look at that. For the purpose of the getting a slow mo shot, I spilled some. Luckily, it didn't land on the floor. Actually, land on some rubbish there. And that's quite. A, that's, a, that's quite a shot in there. A little bit of water. More of a flattish, flattish smell, not so sharp, not so aggressive as the other one. If that's such a word. Get some, let's see if I can get some um, idea of what I'm looking for. What's it say on the bottle, on the box? Doesn't a lot. The cool microclimate ages our malt slower, bringing depth and smoothness. Okay. Let's have a little try of it, shall we? See what we got. Yeah, that's nice, a bit smoother. Not as sharp on the palate as the Tandra Vulin, but I quite like that. I 
I might have to do them all again. The only one that stands out to me, the, the Jura, the Jura was the first one I had the other week with the Jura. And that's quite, oof, kicked in. Then I did the Ardbeg. The Ardbeg. Peasy, I, I, that surprised me. I liked that better than I thought I would, the Ardbeg. And then these two are very similar. Tony Villa end of game flick 15. Very similar. Both different tastes, but I don't know, they're both, they're both good. Both very good. Hmm. They are strong. If I had a bottle of beer, I'd wash it down with a bottle of beer, I'm afraid. There were the bottles of beer around here, but they're empty. Um, oh, blimey. Oh, that's kicked in. Two of them. God, make me hair stand on end. God. <clears throat> right, people, that's my non... That's my non-professional taste test. On the Glenfiddich 15, that's going back. Oh. Yeah, that's uh, we've got some gentleman jacks there to do, and we've got some Irish mist. We've done plenty of Irish mist, we can't do any Irish mist. We've done plenty of Irish mist. That was all that's all right, I like it. I've, right, the only one that's a bit a disappointing a little bit was the jeweler. The fanciest box, the fanciest bottle, 10 year old. I might have to go back to that another time, just give it another try, because it, it sort of caught me out a little bit. Still liking the Ardbeg, and the Beaumont down the pub on Monday was nice. But I'm still liking that Ardbeg, definite. Definitely, I don't know why. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to wash it down with some beers, or a beer, just to, um, just to set me down a little bit. As I say, I'm no whiskey expert. But they are strong, very strong. Cool. Right, looks like the weekend's coming up and I've got to tie this bar up. Get back to doing some real drink testing. Uh, going off track a little bit, but if you follow this channel, please like, subscribe. Check out the links below for the website address and uh, the Facebook page. I've got some new signs to be put, put up on the walls. And I've got some mess behind you I've been mentioning before. It's got to dis be disappear. Once that's gone, I can start doing my homebrew. And I'll finish off that. Yeah, that one. Um, that one bad. That's only a short video. I just popped out for a short one tonight. I think oh, someone has asked me about um, a rambling video, actually. Yeah, because I do fancy sitting over my favourite chair, my favourite out on, doing a little ramble. Um, a little bit more jobs to do indoors. This rubbish behind is going to be cleared out, and then I'll get me some, some more nibbles on the wall thing. That's what I wanted to do. Someone asked me about get some, yeah, I want to get some, keep the cards, and refill the cards for me nuts and me nibbles. That's a good idea. That's all the peanuts and that. Works a bit cheaper. Right, people, thank you for watching. That was my non-professional non-expert advice on the Glenfiddich 15 year old and the Tamnavulin. At least if I'm saying it right, you know how to say it when you go down and pub Tamnavulin. Both a nice whiskey, they won't kill you. They won't knock your head off so much. You won't be embarrassed in front of your friends and the old big. Jura, the Jura's out on the Jura at the moment. Of course, you've got your good old Irish Missy going to hunt about for that and have a bit of a challenge. And at the back, they've got Gentleman Jacks. Um, give them all a go. I think a couple of summers I'll have to check back. Someone mentioned some um, whiskies that I like. I'll have to check back on the lives, actually. Add your burr or something. Add a, so, uh, there's a couple that someone keeps me. People mention me all the time about different whiskies to try. And uh, I, I should write them down. I must admit, I've got to go back for the comments. But if you've got any whiskies you'd like me to try, or you think I should try, I think I mentioned before, I might get one of these small sets, small sets of whiskies that you can get. Try them out instead of getting big bottles. But uh, I think the Bowmore is on my list. That will be one of them, the Bowmore. I'd rather fancy that. Um, yeah, but if you've got any um, any wishes that you think I'd like, I'll have to check the comments. Who was it that said? Oh, 
while I'm doing this video, there's a guy, one man and his dog walking the UK coast or something. He was on my live on Friday. Going off track a little bit. And um, he come out with a couple of nice whiskies to try. Now, if he's about, if you're watching this, let me know in the comments, buddy. Um, hopefully, if you've subscribed, I think you have. If you've got notifications switched on, you'll, um, you'll see this video come up, hopefully, and you can let me know. Let me know what whiskies uh, you recommend. I can't remember which ones you said now. That's bugging me now. Thank you for watching, people. Have a good one. Drink responsibly. Bye-bye.